Hello and welcome to this very special broadcast from the School of Modern Media at UPS. I'm Nalin Mehta. What we are discussing today is the future of the digital media and we have a very special panel. Um, we have Jaya Bhattacharji Rose, uh, who writes on, uh, uh, who's, uh, who's, a, pub, uh, who's a, pub, uh, a publishing agent, but also writes on publishing. Jaya, you want to come in on that, on, on changing patterns of this? I mean, you heard Vivek, Chanpreet and Kartika. Do you want to comment on this? Yeah, well, basically, I mean, I think it's, it's evolving so fast. But if you actually look at... Uh, at uh, production of content in different formats over the centuries. Technology is what changes. And but the basic principles remain the same. So whether um, Dickens is a fine example, Lord Byron, all of them, um, even many of our own manuscripts, etc. We've had serialization, we've had um, in the Regency period, we had lending libraries with three slim volumes, which was easy to access the reading public and the market. So that from the same production, you could have a larger readership, right? And what is that like in, uh, you know, you, 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 got a you got a nice price point, you made it available in a lending library. If, uh, if somebody was rich enough, they could buy the three, the three volumes. Before that, with Gutenberg, within a few months of his production, he, from a, just having a couple of, you know, printed volumes, illuminated manuscripts in churches or, or with the rich, you had, what, 20 lakh uh, volumes in production by the time the first Frankfurt Book Fair happened in 1495. And then now, what is happening now? When, when, I, when I did a dateline, when I did a timeline of the way technology has moved so rapidly in the 21st century and the way content is moving, and with it, if you make the parallel lines of subscription models, acquisition and mergers, uh, rapidly evolving appetites, how does the... You have a demand which is because why, where is that demand coming from? It is the readership, it is the content consumption, it is it is uh, the market, which is a behavioral change, which changes because it's a human. The brain is adapting and the goalpost is shifting. So the supply has to adopt. When Chantreet says that there are three models and we have to adopt and we have to see the middle ground, that by the time you catch up with it, it's like a parent catching up with a new child and the language. You've moved on. You've moved on. The trickiest is the co the commercials. I love the way where Vivek constantly reiterates. Never he, does he say commercials, though it is very very critical to his budgeting, etc. He always talks about success, and he, he talks about theater, film, all these different productions. He talks about success. Kartika is getting into a new space, and Kartika and I have known each other for God knows how long, and we've talked about different product samples there. Can I say, uh, Vivek, with your permission? Him. He once told me that yeah, people don't understand. They come and tell me film banana scene. They don't understand. You're not in the make business of making a film. You're in the business of putting bums in the theater seats. <laughs> <laughs> <You're getting there>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Or even when we look at content, when we look at manuscripts, or when we look at uh, when Kartik and I look at manuscripts, or we look at uh, at essays or writing, how do you discern that this person has 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 the potential of offering something more? 